folks, welcome to uh, video two of topic nine, in which I'm going to be looking at the concepts of diversity, discrimination, and equality. So as we move through, again, answering the essential questions of who should be a citizen, what requirements should someone meet in order to be eligible for citizenship, and also what rights, duties, and privileges should come with being a United States citizen. As we go through, think about this particular statue that outlines the concept of freedom that stands on the top of the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. for about 150 years. It's meant to symbolize the concept of individual liberty, self-government, and of equal rights of all. Now, question, has everyone's rights been protected in the history of the United States? I'll let you decide. But when it comes to this statue, how well do we actually do in representing the freedom, individual, individual liberty, the life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness that Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson wrote about, how well do we do in actually making the statue become our reality? So looking at United States history, you have to make sure that you look at segregation. The first thing I will say is that diversity is this idea that there are many different individuals involved, many different kinds of opinions, bodies, races, identities, lived experiences, sexual orientations, gender expressions, uh, religions, and a lot of other different characteristics about someone that can change the entire makeup of the United States. And as a history, as a, as a country has grown over time, you will notice that the makeup of the United States has increased um, to include more diverse individuals and opinions and also interpretations of what it means to be an American citizen in general. Now, although we have this statue and we have the rights and freedoms that are in the Constitution of the United States and the Declaration of Independence, how well do we actually do in enforcing those rights and making sure that everyone is treated well? Because although you may have those legal rights in the documents, they don't prevent you from being treated badly because of something that someone doesn't like about you. And that is what I would define as discrimination, which is someone treating you unfairly because of who you are and how you are. And so as you go through this, you can look at the different kinds of issues that come up with different identities, whether it's gender, sexual orientation, or segregation. As you go through these, keep thinking, and I want you to think about how the United, uh, United States is a very herod uh, heterogeneous mixture of individuals and that we are not the same and we are increasingly diverse throughout the entire country. No audience of Americans is the same as the last, and even in my classes, it is very safe to say that none of you are the same individual, and you're also not the same as me. So how can we come together and promote the diversity of everyone in the room and also protect the rights through equal laws? So what you would say, what I will say with this is that white Americans have been historically reluctant to yield to non-white Americans a full and equal place in the social, economic, and political life of this nation. I am not stating you my personal opinions. I'm stating a fact. There's, some, there have been a, there's been an element of white individuals who have not wanted to grant civil rights to every individual for a number of reasons. And what I will say is that it depends on the historical context. It de depends on the, uh, the issue involved. And maybe there are some movements going on right now that some white individuals may say no to because they, it's part of this historical pattern. Over time, the principal targets of that ethnic prejudice uh, have been, has been towards Native African Americans, Native Americans, Asian Americans, also known Hispanic Americans. As you go through this, keep thinking about slavery and discrimination, how there has been continuing discrimination against African Americans. Think of Black Lives Matter. White settlers bringing discrimination against Native Americans. Um, the concept of how Mexican Americans were treated following the Mexican American War in 1850 in the 1850s or 18, late 1840s. And in general, the current issues we have across the board in the United States. So, with discrimination in America, many minorities or mar marginalized groups are still able to hold on to their culture. Even though they were physically oppressed, many were able to either adapt to the new United States that they moved to or develop new forms um, of uh, or ways of looking at their culture. My challenge to you 
I know this wasn't the best presentation ever, or nor was it the most the best model. But what I will say is that the crux of the matter is when it comes to the concept of diversity, discrimination, and also equality, you need to think about how do we ensure that everyone, no matter who they are, their background, is prevented from being discriminated against either through equal laws or equal enforcement of the laws. And then in turn, what will happen to the country when that kind of situation actually happens?